Hello, this will be the final video in my spring cleaning painting series. I had the sprayer out and I was painting some other things and my wife was kind enough to keep handing me things to paint. So let's get into it. So here's that pile of odds and ends. I've got three wire baskets, a plant stand, and some of those little trellises that plants can grow up on. And I'll pressure wash all these and I'll paint them black too. I'm not going into a whole lot of detail in this video because I just created two that covered the same topic. And if you're curious, here they are and there'll be a link at the end of this video. But really the only thing we're doing is trying to knock off any loose rust, mold, and mildew before we paint these pieces. You're only going to get so many seasons out of the wire baskets and this planter because the metal will just rust all the way through. I have found using a drill with the wire wheel on it is so much easier to try to remove all the rust than it would be if you were to try to sand it. So that'll be the first thing I do with all of these pieces. And then we're going to put a good coat of that Rust-Oleum oil-based gloss black paint. So this pot is made out of expanded foam, which doesn't hold up too well to the sunlight. So I put a good coat of paint on it about every two or three years. And you would be surprised. The wire wheel works really well at knocking off paint on these plastic pieces. Hanging baskets can be a little tricky. Got to find a spot and get a good grip and never let go. So the hardest part with these baskets is trying to get the paint to stay on the basket and not just run off. Remember, try to get everything covered with paint. I grab the chain to use it to get the last parts before I hang it up and paint the chain too. You're also going to get paint on you. There's just no way around it. It really is very important to get all the loose or bubbling rust off before you paint it because the paint's not sticking to the metal, it's sticking to the rust, and it's just gonna keep rusting. So on these pieces, I'm gonna make sure I get two good coats, especially on the parts that get shoved into the dirt. The whole goal is to keep it from rusting. These look really nice, and once some plants have grown around them, you'll never knew they were rusted at all. The pot and the planter box turned out really nice too. My wife has been using the metal portion of these hanging baskets for years now. They make coconut husk inserts and she enjoys planting her own flowers in them. Well, this is going to wrap up this project. This is the last of those three videos of me painting things in the yard. So like, subscribe, check out the playlist, and I'll see you in the next video.